Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to another video here in Sri Lanka, specifically in Kandy. That's right, Matt Candy is in Kandy. And in today's video, guys, we're going to be taking you with us to the Theva residency, where I'm going to be staying the next two nights. And I've heard many great things about this hotel in terms of the views they have, the room accommodations, the food, the amenities. So we're going to do a full hotel tour like we usually have taken you guys on in previous videos when we're checking out the hotels, and it's going to be amazing. So let's head on in. Estute Machang. All right, and we have arrived, guys. Hello. So we're here, yeah? Yep. Hello. Uh, how are you? Fine. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much, my friend. Oh, no changes. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Thank you. If you want to... All right, guys, we're arriving to the uh, Theva residence here. Hello, my friend. Oh, yeah, if you don't mind. Thank you so much. All right, this is the restaurant. All right, guys, so we just got up to my room here, so I'm very excited to give you a room tour. I'm up here on the, I believe, third floor. And so when you walk in, you've got a very nice opening scene to look into. As you can see, very vibrant, very colorful. And so let's jump right into this tour. Beautiful art on the wall. Aesthetics are so pleasing to the eyes. We've got multiple options of beverages here, uh, compliments for the water, the coffee, the tea, and then I believe there's an extra charge to go ahead and have some of these uh, adult beverages right there. And I believe we've even got a fridge under here, fully stocked up and loaded. So that is very nice. I am loving that. And then coming over here, guys, we're going straight into the bathroom. You can see we have good water pressure on hot and cold. And you walk in here, you you can see it's very nicely decorated. I love the shower because you have the rocks surrounding you and you have the shower head that rains on you. How about we take a quick shower? Whoa, all right, that was a nice shower. And we're back, guys. Now coming over here, we've got some closet space, a nice wardrobe cabinet here, and a safe, some robes, an umbrella even if it rains. But the good news is guys, we're here at the time of the year when it doesn't rain. And you guys know that I don't love rain, so I am happy to be avoiding that. Then right over here, guys, we have the bed. Let's go ahead and test it out. Oh, oh, feather pillows. Oh, my head just sinks in, guys. Oh, fell asleep there again, guys. Whoa, oh, guys, I could have slept for a while there. And on this side, we have TV, a little uh, desk area right here. One of my favorite parts of the room, as you can see here, guys, is a hot tub with views of candy, which is just so stunning. And you can see how nicely it's been designed here in terms of aesthetics. You can look closely, we have candles here, so this could be quite romantic. Too bad it's just me here, but um, even if it's just me, trust me, you can, you can believe that I'll be taking a bath. And so, and right there, you even have some spotlights that light up the paintings. Let's turn them on. Whoa. And the lights have come on and it's gotten dark. All right, back to the morning. And so here you go, guys. You can see more of the tub. It's quite big. We have jets all the way on. I'd say let's go for a bath. Ah. Uh, como se dice, it's a vibe. Let's go. Ah. Oh, I could have stayed in there for hours, guys. That was so nice. And then we can take the step right up here. And as you can see, guys, we have incredible views of candy. And looking way out there, I mean, we can see probably 10, 15, 20 kilometers way out there, probably 50 kilometers away on such a clear day. And down here, we have an infinity pool area to catch some rays. Down there is gonna be the restaurant. Of course, we're gonna show you guys that later in the video, but I wanted to show you what we can see from my room. And so it is so nice. We've even got a little couch there to hang out on and relax. So a very, very beautiful space here, somewhere where you can just come and relax and just forget about everything else in the world except the views of candy. So I am so excited to be here, guys. I can't wait to take you around. And it's so much fun for me to do hotel vlogs and take you guys with me and show you what the experience is like. Because a lot of these places around the world that I visit, a lot of people had no idea these types of places existed. And this is like the ultimate retreat 
for relaxation. And so hopefully you guys will find some inspiration. Maybe come visit here if you're in the candy area. And so let's go ahead and continue on with the tour. So as you guys know, I always like to share with you what the internet speeds are at the places that I stay in case you require fast internet like me. Obviously as a vlogger, I upload so much video content every single day as a daily vlogger. And so I want to share with you uh, what we have here. So I just ran the speed test and we have uh, 9.42 megabits per second for download and 8.45 megabits for upload. So basically if you're not familiar with even what that means, like that'll be fast enough for like 99% of people except people that require like heavy amounts of um, uploading but that still is like fast enough for me to get stuff done um, but I will tell you the nice part about this hotel is if you go down in like the lobby area some of the common spaces they had like 70 megabits per second that I checked on my phone when I first arrived for download speeds so super super fast actually it's the best that I've experienced so far in uh, Sri Lanka so uh, very impressive but obviously in the rooms we're going to be a little bit further than uh, from the routers in some cases but like I still have have um, really good speeds here right now like enough to get everything I need done and so that's good news guys okay, so fast forward a little bit it's getting a bit later I've just been doing some editing as you can see here I am just loving where I'm editing because I can see all of these incredible views and it's sunset and let me open this I had it open for a little bit you can just hear the birds chirping I'm gonna stop talking for a second and listen Oh, they're not as loud guys we might have uh, scared them away once we pulled the camera out but anyways just look at this background like I literally feel like I'm in a movie right now the Sun setting so many colorful flowers and plants on these trees and just a really dreamy setting in front of me and just haziness as you look way further out into the mountains the further you go the more you get levels of haze <laughs> I could stay here for a month, I'm not even kidding. I just wake up every day and get so much done. Like the energy I have right now while I'm editing and the creative space because I can look out into just such a beautiful background is just like making my creative brain go like crazy guys. But anyways, I'm gonna check back in just a little bit. We'll head down for dinner. It Dinner starts around seven or 7.30 and it's going to be like, I think some of the best food I've had in Sri Lanka. We shall see, I just smelled the lunch earlier and I was like, oh my God. God, what are they making down there? So I'm pretty excited for that, guys. I will see you in a second. And boom, guys, we are heading down to dinner. So it is about 7.45. Oh, cut the lights. Pull the key out. There we go. Let there be light again. Going around right at uh, yeah, 8 p.m. to get some dinner. It goes from 7 till 10, maybe 10.30. And so we are heading down. Oh, the food is smelling good, guys. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't allow me to allow this scent on there, so in a lot of cases, that's a good and could be a bad thing. But we are heading down now. And let's see. Good evening, my friends. Hey, how are you, sir? How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Did I come down at a good time for some food? Yes, yes. Oh, yes, perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah, best yeah, in best candy. Best time. Yeah? Best time. Oh, wonderful, time. wonderful. Time. Any, I can sit wherever? Where would you yes. like? Uh, uh, maybe inside or outside? Yeah. Yeah. Outside is better? Uh, All right, let's do it. It's a little bit cold, it's no problem. Oh, it's cold? A little bit cold. A little bit. All right, let's, let's test it out then, yeah? You, you, you will check. All right, I'll, I'll do a walk out there and uh, check it out here. As you guys can see, dinner time, it's nice and well lit out here. And we've got some views of candy. That is quite the vibe. I think the table is fine. All right, yeah, that'll do. All right, guys, so I just sat down for dinner here and they brought out the menu. So we've got quite a few options here. Obviously, it's dinner time here. The uh, menu's got breakfast in here. We've got lunch, so you can get a little idea, but we'll show you later what that is. And so for dinner here, basically how it works, you got starters, you got mains, and then 
also finish off with a little dessert. So, and then of course, if you have kids, you got a kid's menu there. So we've got basically a multi-course meal and it actually also includes a cocktail. So I'm going with an option that the chef recommended. So for starters here, we've got soup, salads, eggplants, pita bread, glazed chicken and chorizo meatball. Oh, I think reading that one out loud, it might've have, uh, might have done the trick for me. Then also for mains, quite a few options here. We have some ones that I'll need an explanation. I don't even know how to pronounce some of these names, but uh, the ones I do know how to pronounce, chicken breast, spicy chicken pasta, vegetable lasagna, angel hair, spinach, uh, palak paneer. Oh yeah, some of these I have no idea, but they sound delicious, all of them. Pan fried grilled sea bass, creamy lemon chicken, fried crispy chicken, kung pao chicken, oh, Sri Lankan rice and curry. So many options. I'll probably go with the chef's recommendation, whatever they think is the best, but my my second option is probably gonna be something like spicy chicken pasta, depending on how spicy it is. So we shall see. And then for desserts, probably something with ice cream, because that's always a go-to. Because once again, there's a bunch of very unique dirt desserts based on what I'm reading here. Ginger pudding with custard and vanilla ice cream. That seems like that's gonna be probably the winner for me. So a lot of options here. Definitely something that fits pretty much anyone's diet here. So I'm gonna give it some thought and once it comes out here, we'll get the recommendations. All right, so uh, uh, your good name? Kintiga. Kintiga? Yes, Atura. Oh, perfect. And this is the cocktail. And what's all in this one? It's uh, Arak. Arak and uh, caramel and C coconut. Caramel and coconut. Oh and yeah. Fruit. Ooh, and passion fruit you said? Yes. Oh wow, so that is quite the cocktail guys. Thank you so much. Or as we say, Estuti Machang. Estuti Machang. Yeah, thank you very much. So let's go ahead and try this one out guys. It looks delicious here. Oh, we even have a green cherry. I don't think I've ever seen a green cherry in my life. So that is very exotic. Oh yeah, that is an exotic cocktail for sure. It is delicious. See so guys, that is why I always go with the recommendations of the chef or the servers because they know what's best. And let me tell you, that cocktail is gonna be perfect to sip on while we're enjoying some evening sounds. Like if you just listen for a second. Yeah, you can hear the insects, you can hear whatever it is, the, the uh, breeze in the background, just very, very peaceful to enjoy this. Oh, my friend. All right, so I looked through the menu and there's a lot of great options and I want to get your recommendation here. So all of them look good, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. First day you like to order something, you starter, maybe some soup or any starter. How about what the uh, orange glazed chicken and chorizo it's meatball? Nice. That's a good it's one. It's very, 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 very popular here. Oh, yeah. That also we have soup of the day, uh, cream of vegetable soup. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can decide just one soup or one starter. I'm thinking I'll go with the chorizo meatball then. That sounds Meatballs quite fine, good. Right? Yeah. So nice, right. Especially if you're yes, telling me that yes. it's a popular one, yeah? Yes, popular. Perfect, popular. perfect. Yes. So yeah, we'll start with that. Right. And uh, how about your main starter, main dishes? So what do you think? Is the spicy chicken pasta super spicy or semi? Uh, no, we can make, uh, how about your choice? Uh, we can make some uh, less spicy or medium spicy or very spicy. Perfect. What do you think? So you like to spicy, maybe yeah. some medium spicy? Yeah, medium. Medium yeah. spicy. Maybe, huh? maybe right. light spicy. Because what do you consider medium? Uh, like? Between uh, less and medium. Yeah, perfect. Uh, right. Yeah, that I sounds great. Know. Yeah, that sounds delicious. The menu looks incredible. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's a good menu. Very good menu. And also food is nice. Yeah, very, very nice. Good. I smelled it for lunch and I was like, <laughs> oh, wow, I can't wait for dinner. <laughs> yeah. And then... Something dessert. And what, yeah, what, for the desserts, um, mm. what is the most popular one? <clears throat> so actually we have uh, one Sri Lankan pudding named that Teva Patalapan. Okay. Patalapan is uh, similar like a cream caramel. Okay. Uh, made out of uh, jaggery, yeah. uh, eggs, coconut milk. Ooh. It's uh, <laughs> like a pudding. Yeah, that sounds great. Yes, is it very possible? popular pudding in Sri Lanka. Amazing. Does it go, mm. does it make sense to put a little ice cream with it? Ice cream, uh, actually we made homemade. Ooh, homemade, yes. yeah. Um, it's coconut, uh, blueberry, avocado, passion fruit. Oh, multiple options. Yes. Ooh. You can select two choices. We can say two is for one ice cream. Yeah. Do you have a vanilla? Vanilla, yes. We have a vanilla, but vanilla is not homemade. 
Oh, okay. Then let's go with, uh, you said there was a passion fruit? Passion fruit. Oh, let's yeah. try the passion fruit. And also uh, passion fruit and coconut. Uh, passion fruit material, and... So. I'm not yeah. a huge fan of coconut. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe, what what are the other options? Uh, passion fruit, coconut, blueberry, avocado. Oh, blueberry and passion mm -hmm. fruit, yeah. Oh. Perfect. Blueberry and passion fruit. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Uh, that's it. Wonderful. No? Oh, Thank right. you so much, my okay. good friend. Astuti Machang. Astuti. 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 <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and this cocktail is delicious. The recommendation. Yes, it's and uh, that, uh, actually, that one is uh, our recipe. Yes. Yeah, your recipe. Yes. I know, and I was I was so impressed. I tasted it. It won a medal 2013. Wow, it won a medal, guys. Mm. And I believe it. Like tasting this cocktail, I'm like, oof. But uh, and that's a custom green cherry. Yes, green wow. cherry. Some. Uh, Normally we put the different uh, garnish. Yeah. Oh, Today cool. we put the green. Uh, oh, very nice. Cherries. That looks beautiful. Uh, and also some days we put uh, some burnt coconut. Ooh. Oh. Day and day change. Perfect. That's amazing. <laughs> See, you guys, it always changes. So when you come here, it might be a little bit different, and that's the enjoyment. It's because mm. like you know it's going to be good. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Enjoy. I appreciate it. Enjoy. Oh, we've got the starter here, yeah. And this chicken. And this is it. Wow, it looks <laughs> incredibly beautiful there. Look at this. We've got the yeah the dressing, the salad. And the these are the chorizo chicken mix. Chicken mix. Yes. Chicken mix. Oh yeah, that's gonna be delicious. Mango salsa, top of mango salsa. <laughs> oh, mango sauce too. Uh, oh, very exotic. And some uh, pomelo. Oh, pomelo too. Pomelo. That's amazing. Yeah. A little bit teriyaki. Yeah, a little teriyaki too. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. It's just fully loaded with everything, and they just brought out some bread too. So we'll have a nice set of uh, oh homemade bread too. Oh yeah, everything's homemade here, guys. We made some ola from it. Oof, that's gonna be delicious then. I'm looking forward to trying it. It's too good, my friend. Okay, enjoy. Thank you so much. All right, guys, I am very excited to dig into here because this literally looks like a perfected entree. So we are just gonna jump right in. Put the napkin on the lap because it might spill a little bit here. But let's try it out. So we'll get a little salad there going first. Get a taste of that dressing that he was telling me about. Oh, and. Mmm. Mmm, that is very tasty. He mentioned that there's a, like a mango sauce on here and you can taste it. It's got like a, a nice like light mango sauce to it, which goes really well with the salad. Mm-hmm, mm mmm. I will say starting the meal with a salad, especially with how hungry I've been, is so good because it's nice and juicy. You can taste the different fruits, the uh, vegetables, and everything just infusing together. Mm-hmm. Now let's try out one of these delicious, delicious balls. <laughs> oh my god. That is incredibly tasty. It's got a light spice to it. It's got like um, just the perfect amount of tenderness to it. So when you take the bite in, it just basically almost melts in your mouth in a very, very chewy and nice way. And then I, the amazing part here is We've got like little pomegranate pieces in here. And so you just have that infusion of so many different flavors. Just something that I would say is very rare unless you're at a very like, you know, high end type of place to get uh, food. So this is. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, that is what I would consider G triple O D. Good. Mm. To be honest with you, I could probably eat an entire plate of just this. Mm. That is definitely a palate teaser. If this was this good, I can only imagine how delicious the main entree is going to be. All right, and I am very excited because the simple things in life, bread is one of my favorite things whenever I'm having any sort of dinner because I just love chowing down on some bread. Who's with me? Drop a comment if you love it too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That is definitely some delicious homemade bread. And it's um, bread it almost is like wrapped or cooked or formed, I guess you would say, baked in the form of a croissant. But it's a very nice and tasty bread. We've even got a little bread stick too. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's got a nice crunch to it. Mm-hmm. And it's got the delicious food there. Garlic and cheese toast. Ooh, garlic and cheese toast. Yes. I didn't even know that was coming. That's even better. Ooh, that okay, looks delicious. Okay, now you can enjoy your dishes, sir. Oh, thank uh, you so much. Look enjoy. at this. Thank you so much. As you guys can see here, wow. Unbelievable. 
you can see the chicken in there, you can see the light spice, well I'm assuming it's light spice, and we can see the garlic bread on this side, oh yeah I can't wait, with the fresh bread with some fresh cheese on there, that is gonna be G triple O D guys, good, good. Alright guys, it is time to dig in, you know what, actually I gotta start out with a little bite on the uh, cheese garlic bread. Mm. Oh man, that is delicious, but you know what, garlic bread mixed with a little spaghetti bite, that should be the proper first bite. So here we go, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. <laughs> guys, honestly, this is so freaking good. And I'm glad I said the mild spice because the, like, in between a little spicy and medium was the perfect amount. Anything more, I don't know if I could have handled it. Probably could have, but... This is just the right amount, so it really like gives that spaghetti an extra unique taste. You know, you can totally taste your Sri Lankan version of spaghetti versus like obviously it's originally an Italian entree, but of course when you do it the Sri Lankan way, you've got your own twist to it, and that's what I'm really enjoying here. Mm, that is so so good. Let's try these little maybe a piece of bread. Mmm, and very light like. Crunchy type of bread, yeah. And let's even get a little, we'll get a hefty scoop here, guys, on this bite. We'll do a solid bite here, half bite of uh, garlic bread. Wow. Mmm. I'm dazed, guys. That is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> I told you, though, earlier in the video, or maybe I, maybe I did that on a uh, recorded cell phone video. Oh, I think I did. And I was like, I was smelling the lunchtime here, and I was like, I already know it's going to be absolutely delicious food here just from walking around the pool and take a big smell and be like, wow, yeah, it's going to be an impressive meal. And it met expectation. No, for sure exceeded expectations. Mm -hmm. Mm, incredible. And thanks to you guys for watching along here. It makes dinner time when I'm eating by myself much more enjoyable because I know I have tens of thousands of you guys enjoying the meal with me. And it keeps me thinking about the flavors and what's going on in here. Yum. Oh, yeah. There's just, oof. I'm going to be so full after this, but this is one of those meals where it's so good that even if I'm full, I'm still going to finish it. Then I'll probably need to work out tomorrow. I don't know if I've ever had a spaghetti like this, and I think that's why I'm enjoying it so much is because I've had a lot of similar spaghettis in my life, but I haven't had too many unique spaghettis, and that definitely checks this box with the spice, with the various types of, um, outside of the, um, analyzing the flavors here. Outside of the, oh, here we go. That's how we know we've got some spice in there. We've got the, uh, the pepper, and maybe I'll eat it at the end. We'll see if I'm, if I'm feeling up to it. And the way they've sliced up the, um, the chicken in here is quite nice because it, I feel like it gives it the ability to spread a little bit more evenly throughout the noodles. Because sometimes I've had pastas where it's very thick slices of like thick slices of meat, so you got to make sure you get the perfect bite right. You grab a piece of the chicken and you grab some of the spaghetti. Whereas here, since the pieces are small enough, they're chopped up small enough, it kind of just has infused with the um, the sauces here, and so pretty much every bite's almost like a perfect bite. Mm, very impressed. As you guys can see, I've literally polished that off. That's how you know I loved the meal. I feel like I should probably try out this green cherry since I've never even seen a green cherry in my life. Wow. Didn't know there was such thing as a perfect cherry. The sweetness, one of the best cherries I think I've ever had. I'm literally not just saying that to you guys. Like, to be fair, I haven't eaten that many cherries, but enough for me to say that that was the best one I've ever had. And the drink is done. This is the last part of the meal. My camera actually just died, so we're back to the phone, the old school. All right, guys, we are digging in. Just look at this ice cream right there. That looks so good. So the first, oh, wow. You can just tell the way it just breaks apart and it slides around. I let it melt just for a few seconds just to get that perfect texture. So it's a little melted on top and nice and frozen on the bottom. Mm. <laughs> so creamy so delicious you can you can tell that it's homemade just because it's got such a unique flavor to it the texture is the biggest thing that i would say is a differentiator let's try out the passion fruit now that first one was a blueberry whoa guys that is so so delicious 
and the passion fruit has such a strong like sweetness to it you honestly the perfect first night in candy guys enjoying some delicious food here like a total relaxation i mean the last like week or so that i've been in colombo it was super fast paced so it was good to just slow it down come here relax and have some delicious food and guys that is a wrap thank you my friends I stuti machang very very delicious food thank you guys see you tomorrow good night thank you my friends see you tomorrow good night very good food thank you good night all right guys we are heading back up to the room now oh the food was delicious guys the hotel staff here is so so nice I always tell you in my videos, one of my favorite things about a good hotel experience, aside from, you know, obviously like a very comfortable stay and delicious food, is like when you have really nice and welcoming staff, and that's definitely here. So, I'm grateful for that, appreciate it. From all of them, oh wow, amazing guys, they got my room even set up. They put the mood lighting on. What do we have on the bed here? The best start for a good tomorrow is a good night's sleep. We will be happy to give you a wake up call so that you do not need to worry about oversleeping. Sweet dreams and some chocolate. Wow, now that is amazing. Don't mind if I try one, even though I just had dessert, guys. Ooh, heart shaped. Mmm, -hmm. mm -hmm. there's creamy chocolate in the middle. Mmm, -hmm. incredible, guys. And I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Oh. And boom, whoa. That was a fast sleep, guys. That was like three seconds. And it's already the morning. Wow. And they said, let there be light. Let's get this baby open. Good. Oh, morning, Sri Lanka. All right. Whoops. Let's try that again. Good. Morning, Sri Lanka. And welcome back to another video here in candy i'm just kidding guys it's the same video but we're starting out the day strong i'm a little tired as you can see with the eyes but that's nothing that a good old coffee is not gonna fix look at these views oh i could stare out here forever all right guys and we are heading down to breakfast not late but uh not early so it is roughly 9 30 i would say oh uh-huh Ooh, and it smells delish, delish. Oh my gosh. I am ready for some chow, guys. Let's head on down this way. Good morning, my friends. It smells very delicious in here. Yeah, best breakfast in town, yeah? Yeah. Perfect, perfect. I'm excited to try some. Thank you. Estuti <laughs> Machan. All right, let's find a spot out here. Ah, uh, good morning, good morning, my friend. How are things? Fine, thank you. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, what's it like, sir? Oh, we're gonna get some delicious breakfast? Uh, yes, it's possible. Not right. too late? Better you can order something and uh, first you see the menu after you Perfect. can order any something. That sounds uh, great. You can order some uh, tea or coffee something. Oh yeah, I'll do a coffee. Kind of juice. Um, maybe some egg dishes. Ooh, like yeah, that's sounding yeah, delicious. Right. Perfect, Better. perfect. Where would you like, sir? Outside? Uh, probably the same spot, yeah? Is right over here. Sunny? Yeah, yeah, right in the sun there. That's a nice little uh, location, yep. Yeah, this is... All right, guys, we're starting off the morning right here. We're going for coffee number two. Had one when I took a little uh, hot tub jacuzzi dip this morning. And, oh yeah, some fresh milk going in there too, mixing it up. Uh-huh, oh, yeah, we can do a little more, yep. Yeah, perfect, perfect. And, oh, some fresh juice right there too. Papaya juice. Papaya juice, mm-mm, mm. There we go. The sugar. Oh, thank you so much. Perfect, and we've got the menu right here. So we'll go over to the breakfast menu here, guys. We've got quite a few options, but to be honest with you, the first thing that pops up on the menu, breakfast quesadilla. Ah, that's nice. That's the key to my heart. Yeah, it's come with scrambled egg cheese, covered tortilla bread. Oh, Salsa, sour, salsa, and guacamole sauce on the side. Perfect, let's do that, please. And also sour cream. No sour cream. No sour cream, you don't like that. Nope. Perfect. And that looks... You like that one, no? With cheese is fine, no? Ah, yes, please, with cheese. Scramble and cheese. Ah, yeah, perfect. That sounds fantastic. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Estute. Enjoy your coffee. Oh, thank you. Let's try out this juice, guys. I love, love, love me fresh juice in the morning. And when they say fresh juice, it literally means fresh juice. Now you can tell this is um, blended up fruits. 
with some ice in there so it gives it a nice chill mm, flavor to it and i mean we have the views here guys you can see them a little bit much better now obviously than at night as you can see you can you have candy way in the distance some haziness the further you look out just such a peaceful environment to start the day so very very content oh yeah guys and as you can see perfected presentation with some delicious fruits here this looks very good my friend thank you how are you good good yes you're good yes. guys i must say it looks so perfect i don't even want to mess it up but let's go ahead and start trying it out mm -hmm. Ooh, that's mango <laughs> oh yeah so delicious next we'll move over to the watermelon pop the seeds out and let's i do love a good watermelon nice and juicy mm -hmm. pineapple freshly sliced mm -hmm. <clears throat> just nourishment for the body right now not actually sure what type of fruit this is mm. i want to say it's grapefruit very nice we'll do a little clementine now mm -hmm. legit all my favorite fruits Actually, I think this is literally every fruit there is. Got a banana now. Mmm. And some apples. Guys, I'm gonna have a nice belly after going here. As you can see, they just brought out some breads here. It looks like we've got maybe a cinnamon roll here, croissant, and a couple types of toast. This one looks like maybe it's got a little cinnamon on it. And then here we have homemade jams here. So this is a uh, strawberry watermelon. This one, I believe, is the pineapple and this is orange, I want to say. And then we also have some uh, butter there as well. So mm -mm -mm, let's dig in. All right, we got the uh, the quesadilla here, yeah? So we have eggs, cheese, salsa, uh, and this is guacamole. The salsa. Oh, yeah? Guacamole. Perfect. Oh, that looks good. Freshly made, as you can see, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Perfected presentation. Thank you, my friend. It's delicious. Thank you so much. This thing looks incredibly delicious. Oh, it's fresh off the press there. Mm. Might even need to give it a second to cool down, but I'm not going to. I'm going to give it a bite with the salsa first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Super tasty. And let's try out the guacamole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that is G-O-O-D. Good. That cold guacamole mixed with the... Uh, the really hot quesadilla right now it's just such an infusion of flavors mm. 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 phenomenal absolutely phenomenal i'm impressed so as you guys can see here they really take care of you in terms of the quantity of food you will not be walking away hungry that's for sure cool. mm -hmm. The guacamole guacamole generally is usually my favorite over salsa both are so good but this guacamole oh it's one of a kind here you can tell how much thought and effort has gone into the recipes which is phenomenal in every bite you can taste the different flavors and spices and recipes that have gone into the perfected guacamole all right guys now we're gonna save almost a i almost call it a little dessert here in terms of what we got last so we'll try out regular piece of toast and we're gonna try out each one of the jams so let's get a little bit of each we'll toss it on and show you all right guys here we go I'm gonna try out the uh, exotic types of jams they have here so actually we'll start out with the uh, strawberry watermelon because I'm dying to get an idea of what this tastes like mm -hmm. wow it's incredible very sweet you can tell like with each one of the types of food that I've had here, everything. There's just so much thought that have gone into it. So really a huge compliment to the chef here. And I'm being like completely dead serious with you guys. Like it's it's uh, so impressive. The amount of thought they've put into every possible thing that goes on at this table. The presentation has been fantastic. The tastes. And so speaking of the tastes, should probably try out the orange one now. Mm -hmm. Wow guys, it took me a minute to analyze it, but the uniqueness I would say about the orange one is there's actually parts of the orange peel itself in there, but it, uh, you know, not something you would traditionally think about eating, but when you have it mixed in with the uh, various ingredients in here, it gives it a really nice chew to the toast. So I'm really enjoying it. It's a very um, 
very unique way. I don't know if I've ever seen jam done in this way. And I think that's why I'm enjoying it so much. Also an incredible one, guys. The chewiness and the texture on this one is just so nice. As you can see here, let me see if I can show you when I spread it on this part. Like it just glides right across a very, very delicious and appealing look to it and taste. Alright. Mmm. Mm. Mmm. Mm. Guys, that was a solid breakfast here. Definitely picked up a tan already, I'd say. My friend, that was delicious. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to the next meal. Yes, uh, tonight. Tonight, yeah? Uh, delicious food, my friends. Thank you very much. Hello, thank you. Very delicious food. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have a big belly after leaving here. Uh huh. Thank you, guys. I'll see you later. All right, guys, after a delicious breakfast, it's time to take a little dip into the pool. Today, it's a warmer day out here. So, as you can see here, we got a little shaded area up top, some plants, and a very peaceful atmosphere to relax in. I'm, I must say, like, I'm really, really enjoying this place because I'm doing it, like, super low-key, guys. Like, sometimes I'll hang out at the hotel, and then I will just go do a bunch of exploring. And I'm kind of exhausted, but, like, while I came here, I was like, I'm just going to stay on the premises for the entire two days that I'm here, relax, enjoy, get some editing done, just do some things to... Uh, you know just go at a slower pace you know because sometimes with a fast-paced lifestyle it can be you know i just like exhausting you know like when i was in pakistan there were some days i shot four youtube videos in one day and so it was just so much film and so fast-paced which i love every second of it but of course you know i'm a human still so it's good to go ahead take a break enjoy that relaxation time and since it's more of like yeah, i want to say it's 15 or 16 rooms in this place you don't have like a big hotel where you have so many people everywhere like you know people are all kind of on their own schedules a lot of the times you feel like you have the place to yourself even when there's other guests here so as you can see we are down here on this deck there's multiple levels here so there's the deck there's the restaurant you guys have seen earlier in the video and then my room's right up there and then there's a couple other rooms um scattered along the windows there and here is the pool it is hot so i think the uh, best way to do it guys is to just jump right in and oh yeah there we go i definitely got my biryani belly though as you guys can see that's what'll happen so, uh, whew, let's test out the water oh yeah that's a uh, a nice temperature sometimes you know places kind of like really hot water if it's hot all the time but here it's like a refreshing temperature so we can oh, dip right on in there uh-huh and also get a get a tan going actually guys before we go in let's fix this biryani belly get a uh, couple push-ups in oh, quick little 20 set get the body warmed up all right guys letting the body heat up a little bit and so here we go we're jumping right in i think the pool is about five feet so we won't be diving we'll just do a little uh a little jump all right here we go i know it's gonna be refreshing so three two one oh, oh yeah oh that is nice oh. It's time to swim a couple laps, continue that workout. So refreshing guys you can just go in the zen just back float and just take it all in oh sri lanka you are impressing me such a beautiful country guys it's very underrated more people for sure need to come and visit this country there's so much to do so much to see and i'm literally at the beginning of my trip still right now i have planned to be here for like four weeks but i could see that easily be in six weeks but we shall see guys we shall see Oh, 
as you guys can see, it is now the afternoon, just teleported a little bit. Been working here for the last uh, like three, four hours. And it's funny, I've got uh, I've got the digital Nomad Farmer's tan right there. See how I just had my shirt on getting absolutely burned. Probably feel it in the face too. But it was time to get the camera out because look at this beautiful paradise. Right now it's probably like, maybe like 30 Celsius. I'm so bad with my conversions, but I'd say it's like 78, 80 Fahrenheit. So whatever that conversion is. And it is just a beautiful time, about 5.30 p.m. We have probably another 45 minutes till the sun goes down. So I figured now is the perfect time to get the drone up. Let's do it. Guys, as you saw, an incredible, incredible time to take the drone out. I mean, you can probably notice the difference from when I had the camera on before, but now you can just see the layers of haze more and more. The sun's a bit closer. We're probably about 10, 15 minutes from going down. We do have that tree in the way, so you guys probably can't see it too well, but just look at this. Literally the zen, the definition of the zen. And it is a vibe here. And it's just a really nice time. I'm actually sad to be leaving tomorrow. Had so much fun checking out this place, staying here for the last couple of days, getting so many things done that I needed to get done. And also just waking up each morning and feeling at ease, relaxed. Hopping in that bubble bath was super nice. And so that's where I'm at today, guys. I'm heading out in the morning, so not too much else to show you guys in this video. So if you've enjoyed this one, guys, smash that like button if you wanna see more videos both here in Sri Lanka and all around the world. Hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.